Now, let's talk tech and unmanned aerial vehicles, drones, if you prefer, which are becoming big business. The industry is worth some $2 billion today, and it's forecast to soar to something like $115 billion by 2020. But after a series of widely reported accidents and near misses, drones are facing an array of legal restrictions across the world. Joe Miller, who's at CBIT for us in Hanover, sent this report. A buzzing contender in a battle for the skies, one of several hundred devices for visitors to enjoy in CBIT's unmanned systems arena. As long as you don't mention the D word. This is not a drone, it's an unmanned aerial vehicle and it's a combination of the proven human flight concepts, balloon, airplane and helicopter. It can vertically take off and land without any runway. It can fly forward like an airplane after it switches its wings. And it can carry uh, heavy weights because of the carrying gas. You can find water with it. You can find mine fields and find the mines. Um, you can uh, look in smog cities for the pollution in the air. Many, many different options and we tested a few of them. Now many of the exhibits, such as this simulator, are focused on how much fun you can have with drone flight. But after a series of near misses at major airports, the safety and regulation of drone flight are top of the agenda. One Belgian startup thinks it might be able to help. So this is a mobile application that tells the drone pilot whether or not he's allowed to fly at a certain location. So you can very easily sign in and then choose the drone you want to fly with and then the app will tell you if you're allowed to fly with that type of drone in that type of airspace. And it's not just for amateurs, is it? No, it's not only for amateurs. It's uh, starting from recreational users to professional users, but also search and rescue, police services, firefighting, etc. As drones get cheaper and cheaper, the temptation to take to the air is getting ever stronger. But perhaps the future is in the hands of well-trained pilots. Joe Miller, BBC News, Hanover.